Alrighty then. Uh, this morning is uh, going to be a video about the failure mode of a Dodge Dakota window regulator and why I think these things are engineered to fail. Um, basically the way this thing works is that There's a cable that connects to this piece of plastic. Uh, basically, it just slips in place and it's held up with uh, what's, uh, what amounts to a piece of crimped on or yeah, crimped on metal. It goes around through this actuator, which is a worm gear. Um, and then it comes out, goes around this pulley, and then it hooks up to the exact same spot on here. Uh, <clears throat> the failure mode seems to always be exactly the same. One of the plastic pieces fails uh, almost always on here. Um, this is the piece that fell out, and uh, it's just a thin, flimsy, thin piece of plastic that keeps, uh, let's see here, that this hooks onto. It's uh, very difficult to show this, I'd have to take it apart. I think it will easily come apart. Well, actually I think it will. Yeah. Stand by. Alright, uh, so this piece of plastic, uh, you push this tab in and it slides right off. And then this comes off. And you can see how the cable connects in here and then the other cable uh, would basically go in like this. And this piece of plastic on this side is broken off. And that's it. All, all this is rendered useless because of a, a, thin, a cheap piece of plastic. Um, if this was made from aluminum or pretty much anything else in here, this the only other failure mode would be this or the pulley which also are you know made of plastic when they should be made of brass or aluminum or anything else so that's it uh, this could be fixed um, it would be kind of difficult because of the stresses and, and put on it but that's it and of course you can't order, I mean if you could just order this slide piece or this piece of plastic you could fix this thing for almost nothing but instead you gotta replace the entire thing which this one cost me forty dollars it was uh, it's supposedly an original equipment made by Dodge uh, part um, I know that what really irritates me on this is that I've, because I've had to replace these so many times on my truck, uh, the, the times that I've had to pay for it, uh, the dealership charged me around $450. Uh, that was many, that was about 10 years ago. 
uh, current estimates according to an online calculator is $250 to $300. Uh, I just replaced this one this morning for $40 and 30 minutes of time. Yes, that's right. If your dealership is charging you one or two hours to replace this and a hundred bucks for the parts or more, they're ripping you off. You can do this yourself. All you need is a screwdriver, a number, a 10 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter socket, and like I said, 30 minutes of your time. And there's videos on YouTube on how to do it. That's it.